us. The smells are getting us already, eh? Hey? Can you smell what how good this smells? a smell? way to end the week and start the weekend with the fabulous Rusty Lee oh. and her, delicious, her mother's own Sunday chicken. Mama G. Mama, Mama G, G Sunday Isn't it chicken. Isn't it lovely that you're sharing that love and giving it to the nation? It's so I lovely. I want to give you all... Not all, I'll say some French dress. <laughs> I want to give you so much love today and happiness and joy because I've got a friend in Spain in hospital. Yeah. She's watching now. What's her name? What's her name? And Anne Marie. Anne Marie. So get back get, get, soon. get well get soon, well Anne Marie. Soon. And if you're in hospital, get well soon. And when you come out, cook this. <laughs> oh, you know what? This, this will sort you out, Rusty. This is good soul food. It is soul food. What are you making and tell us I'm all about it? I'm making. A uh, Caribbean chicken. Well, I call it Sunday chicken. Yeah. Why I call it Sunday chicken is because my mum used to do this on a Saturday ready for Sunday. So mm. I'm going to show you how lovely this recipe is. Rusty, is this, is this similar to jerk chicken or is this... Different? No, this is nowhere near jerk chicken because those are lots of different spices. That yeah. Are, uh, they are you, are... you do marinate them, but you, the spices are so basically raw... You cook the, then you cook it after to cook it together, yeah. and then you put it into the chicken or beef or pork, whatever you're going to do, and you either barbecue it or bake it. I yeah. bake it and then it's yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. So, but with this, this is such a lovely, easy recipe. There's no reason why you can't all. I'm looking at the wrong camera, and about to do the other. Thing. <laughs> it's only the one with the red lights on it. How many years have you been in this business, Ross? Forty years. <laughs> she can't look at the right. Go <laughs> <laughs> on, Ross. Go on, Ross. <laughs> so anyway, so this chicken is absolutely delicious. Um. It, this is a whole chicken, right? This is a whole chicken, so it's, a fa say, a family of four or six, and you get about eight to ten pieces. Yeah. But if you don't want to do the chicken pieces, because some people don't like to see the bone... I'm going to turn this down because it's <laughs> good. Um, they don't like that, so they like the breast of the chicken. You can do the do breast... You know what I don't well. like? I don't like seasoning raw meat, I'm not going to lie, but I just yeah. put the gloves on. Put the gloves Season on. Season it like that. Yeah, you can put the gloves on. I like get involved. To, see, I love to massage the... Get involved. The, yeah, get involved. Massage the seasoning in. And what my seasoning is, it's really lovely. I've got salt that's going in, all the dry ingredients. This is all spice. Some people like to call it Jamaican pepper, but it is not Jamaican pepper Yeah, <laughs> It's all spice. <laughs> which is spice. Must be. Don't call it Jamaican pepper. <laughs> it's not Jamaican pepper. <laughs> Jamaican pepper is hot scotch bonnet pepper. Right. Or chili exactly pepper. Exactly rusty. So all spice is a different thing. So all spice is going in. That's my little uh, soapbox. I'm off now. Do you know what? I lo I'm loving uh, this. You know you're what? loving it? It just reminds me of Mum. Does oh. it? You're yeah. loving Mum. Thank you so friend. much. Yes. Thank you so much. Honestly, this is like... It, isn't Your it funny here how foods can, like, create memories? It's Maybe. lovely, isn't it? It does. And hopefully, when you all do this recipe, you'll remember Rusty when I'm long gone. You'll go, oh, oh that was Rusty Ford. Yeah. You're immortal. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and you keep on calling me Lee. <laughs> Be with us forever. Because well, yeah, you don't need... You need other Rusty. Or you don't need Rusty Lee. Just Lee! You just know you are. No, no. Kay was right. It's Rusty. That's all the, that's the only name She's you iconic. Need. She's iconic. Rusty. Oh, bless you. So, you put all this in, and normally I'd just really rub that in. Yeah. Rub it in, and to that, with garlic's going in as well. So you've got your garlic, quite a bit of garlic. I'm not going to tell you measurements in that because you can get it on the site. And that's raw garlic. Raw isn't it? garlic, because it's going into the marinade. Onions go in, so all your seasoning. So when, when Caribbean people say they're seasoning, it's not just salt, it's all the flavours and things that there. are going in. Yeah. And your chilli peppers going in as well. So that all mixes together. When you mix all that together, to that we're going to add some soy sauce. Yeah. Is it the dark one or the light one? This is the dark soy sauce. It's going to give that lovely golden flavour. And also remember, it's got... It's a bit salty as well, so, you know, be careful how much you put in. Yeah. I've got the, the, the amount. So when it's all done like this, look. Look at that. Do you know what I use instead of soya? I what? use Worcester sauce. Do you? Yeah. Instead of what you use there, I use it. It gives you another taste. Does it? Different taste, yeah. Oh, well, I haven't done that. Use so... the same amount. 
you know, exactly the, like how she's done uh -huh. it with the, the soy. I would use Worcester sauce. Oh, right. good. Well, you know, just a little it, change on it. It you, if you when you're cooking. You have to experiment and then yeah. find out what you like. You've done that different. I have it's never thought of doing this. My mum showed me how to there do it like that. Go. So it's mama's different, mom's different, here. different ways. But I'm going to try it with the soy. But it's a completely is, different taste. It's this lovely. is lovely. Try it with the soy. It comes out looking so scrumptious. So that, I mean, I could eat that right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do it. But don't eat it. No, I'm, no I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. So that's basically what you're going to do. That's your marriage. Marinade, you can leave that for, say, an hour. Put it in the fridge overnight. Put it in the fridge overnight, cover it up. What's the, what's the ideal amount, do you think, to leave that now? Like, if you... The ideal amount is overnight. Yeah. Absolutely. If you can leave it for an hour, just to give it a chance to, it. to soak yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So, so that is just perfect, right? So I'll put these away. Once you've done that, you shake off the bits. Shake off the bits. Uh -huh. Of the, the chicken that I've just done. Yeah. And so you like the to, onion and everything. The like onion, that. shake it. But you're going to brown it. And when you say you brown the chicken, <laughs> you made me laugh today. <laughs> it came out. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, yes, you brown the chicken. He said, you brown the chicken. Yeah. You brown the chicken. You've got to brown the chicken, haven't <laughs> you? So when you say we brown the chicken, we mean we brown the chicken. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the chicken is like this. It comes up like this. It's lovely. All nice and brown. Then all you want to you've browned them, you take the pieces out and you, you put them in, back in like this, leaving all the bits on the bottom, you're not scraping anything. After you've shaken everything out, yeah. all the bits are going back, back in. in. Yeah, yes. right. So all that goes in, and I'm doing coconut cream is going in. If you've Ooh. never seen the block of coconut cream, it's hard to cut. So you could use hot stock. You put your tomato in, and you allow that to cook down for about five minutes. Allow that to cook down. So that cooks in and the flavours are going in. You've got that cooked down for five minutes, say. Then if you, if you chop your coconut cream up, that goes in and uh. your stock goes in. And you allow that to cook down for 25 to 30 minutes. And then, I hope I haven't burnt it. <laughs> oh, no, I bet it's perfect <laughs> now. It should be, actually. It should be absolutely perfect. And you have this... Let me turn this off. Oh, that is just lovely. Oh, look and at that. And on the final five minutes, you put <clears throat> your um, spring onions in. And when you um, have it like that, you just cook it down for a further few more minutes, like this. Now, when you're going to serve this, it's lovely. Look at this. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So, Rusty, you don't have to cook it. It's not a slow cook dish. You don't have to cook it for too long. Well, it's, 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 all, it's it, all the preparation, right? It's the preparation, and, and you just you, you cook it till it's nicely soft. Yeah. I'm making the right pig's ear of this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks lovely, doesn't it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at this. That's what it's like in my house. <laughs> it's everywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm supposed to be professional, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at that. Rusty so Lee. That's it. And I serve it with... You can serve it with rice and peas mm -hmm. or yam. Uh, um, you don't like yam, do you? No, it's not that I don't like it. I'm just... I don't like the yes. texture, but honestly, it's perfect. That is absolutely gorgeous. Rusty, that was amazing. It's lovely. So enjoy. Try this recipe if you can eat it with any vegetables you like, if you like mashed potatoes, but if you can try the yam. Rust, you're a legend. Thank you so much.